Not quite so long ago, and not so far away, to menu. near back the 7th to town back across to the 7th river, back to menu. there was a beautiful menu. forest, where high above the baby birds chirped happily, safe in their nests, while on the forest floor below, the animals ran happy and free. It was wonderful, all because the forest was kept perfectly in order by seven clever and thoughtful young boys. Every day the seven boys would clean the forest and make it fresh, and here they are. First there was Cubby, who was like a small bear, and then there was Big Basil, who was huge. Well, for a boy he was huge. And then Sonny, who took care of the plants and the animals. And Jacob, who was in charge of keeping order in the forest. Then Michael, who cared for the flowers, and then the professor, who was the most intelligent, and then the seventh boy, Joseph Jr. So the seven boys spent every day cheerfully working, protecting the forest greenery. They were such good boys because they really cared about the environment. But then one evening they came back to their cabin and were surprised to find the door open. Yes, wide open. How could that be? Who could it be? Oh, there's a funny face on the chimney. Look, and the spook. What is going on? This is my song, I'll sing it now The one of the mirror and the evil queen Sparkling mirror, the truth you can see Oh say it please, who is more beautiful? She is so jealous, jealous of me So very jealous, jealous of me Show the miracle of beauty in the lake of your glass Her heart so hard, it won't let me pass She has chased me So, Snow White came to stay with the seven boys, of course she did, and the boys promised they would look after her and keep her safe from the evil queen. Such noble, brave and clever boys. The next morning, all seven went to the forest and worked as hard as usual because they were happy that they had lovely Snow White to look after, as well as the forest to care for. They worked and worked and worked and worked. Their work hardly seemed like work at all. It was more fun than work. They were such good boys, weren't they? But then something terrible happened. The wicked queen disguised herself as an ugly old hag and gave Snow White a poisoned apple. The poor girl took one bite and fell down unconscious, fast asleep, possibly forever. And when the seven boys came home that night and found her unconscious, they were overcome with grief, so sad. They didn't know what to do and sat around crying. It was just awful. No more Snow White to meet them and smile her lovely smile at them or sing her lovely songs, never, ever, ever again. The seven boys cried all night long, their young hearts almost bursting with sorrow. 
Was there no way to break the spell the wicked queen had cast on Snow White? Was there no hope? But suddenly, something happened. Something quite incredible. Look, there in the distance, a cloud of dust. Could it be that a miracle was about to take place? That a Prince Charming on a noble horse would come to save Snow White? But was this really Prince Charming? Yes, it was. Hooray! When he saw Snow White, he gave her a soft, loving kiss. And, well, the result was unbelievably beautiful and simply magical in every way. And you know what happened next. Yes, the seven clever boys and Snow White and Prince Charming all lived happily ever after and even after that. And all of them worked together to keep the forest cleaner and greener than ever before. Wasn't that nice? And that is the end of the story about Snow White and the seven clever boys.